Hi, my name is Ava. Um, I go to Wake at Woodside, and I've been uh, given the opportunity to do a devotional through the Book of Jude. Even as kids, we do little things to contradict um, God, and um, those things can be from like little white lies to um, not cleaning our room or getting off video games. Um, but that's just like ignoring the Father because He knows what's best for us, and uh, He's t teaching us what's right for us. Verse 8 says those who give themselves up to perversion are living in ways that are abandoning the Father. Um, you can't put yourself in false mindsets according to God because in reality you're setting yourself further from Him. If you are, um, if you have habits with other things and um, aren't focusing your mindset on God and what God wants for you, you're going to go in directions that you shouldn't be. And um, you're not doing what's best for yourself. 10 says, yet these people slander uh, whatever they do not understand, and the very things they do by instinct, as irrational animals do, will destroy them. Um, saying that, they're saying that people um, understand and get along with what hurts them, so like habits or addictions. So even things as little as like getting distracted on your phone for hours at a time, are normal yet they're setting you apart from God because you're not doing what you're supposed to do and um it, it, in here it compares us to animals because um it's hostile and irrational um the habits and addictions that we have that separate ourselves from God aren't um something that he wants for us and we're doing them without thought and it's just not setting ourselves in the direction that we should be going Verses 20 to 21 say, But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy for our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you eternal life. Um, we're showing God that we love him by being honorable to him and um, by doing what he wants and supports for us. And uh, we're showing others how we love him because of the behavior that he encourages within us and how we're um, inflicting that on other people. Um, and with that, I'd just like to leave you guys with a question. What's distracting us from loving God? What are the things that are keeping us back? And what's something that we can do to like, further our loving God?